So I've been doing a video on this generator. I went on some parts and I've noticed that my key fob the last few weeks has been stating that it's low battery. Now, change of battery is really simple, but this thing's been driving us mental. Basically, it is falling to bits. As you can see, the covers are just coming off and there's muck and dirt and all kinds of rubbish inside the, the buttons. So I thought I'd give it a strip down, clean, and install a new case. So let's go out to the car. I'll show you the message that I'm getting on display and we'll come back in, change it out and see if that works. So every morning when I get in and I try to start the car, I get this message. Not that one. <laughs> Smart key, low battery. So obviously it needs a new battery. So we'll put a new battery in, change the case and hopefully all should be well and good to go. So the part number for myself is L. R078921. This is a 2013 SD4 model 2.2, so it could be different for your car. I'm pretty sure pre 2013 is a different case, and I think 15, 2015, 16 is also different. But for me, this one will fit perfectly fine. So the case seems to be identical. I don't know, this one seems, the original one seems to have a shine to it, but that just could be because of use. So that actually, when I picked this up, there was two options, I think. I'm sure I read somewhere you can get a, a, a glossy back, maybe? Oh, I might have read that wrong. But I wasn't too bothered, as long as it was intact and waterproof, basically, because my one, currently, is definitely not waterproof. All right, so let's take it a bit. So you just, there's an arrow at the bottom, so just push that up, and that will come off. Now, you can get a brand new replacement one of these. You can get the copies of the real ones, but to be honest, for what I do, it's going to get bashed about. It's not going to last two minutes, nice and shiny. So what's the point of replacing? It's perfectly fine. And I think it was about the same price for this as it was for this. This was about 15, 16 pounds. I will we'll leave a link in the description for this. I got it from Amazon. It was pretty cheap. I don't think it was a Black Friday deal, but it was on them daily deals. So it was a pretty good price. So my current key fob, this is where you keep your emergency key, I guess you can call it, get inside your car. Mine is not attached. I did try to glue it a couple of years ago, but it just kept falling off. So as you can see, it's got like a bracket on this one. On mine, it's just completely fallen off. What is quite clever about these, if I remember right, yeah, there's a slot down here. You use your key to actually open it up. So you just basically take your emergency key, your little door, Thing and stick it in and then twist and that will separate the two pieces now <laughs> I need to clean that up there's some tabs which I can see have snapped off so there's two there's a black tab there and there now I'm assuming them tabs will be intact in this, so I might have to break these off. Let's have a look. In fact, firstly, let's just change a battery because that is a simple thing to do. As you can see, you've got your positive on the rear, so just slide this guy out. And slide it back in, the new one, and that is it. Nice and easy. So that is the battery changed. But I am concerned about these. Let's have a look. So same thing, put the key in, twist. Yeah, so that has actually got a gasket on this. Have I got that in mind? I have. It just looks a bit perished. <laughs> that is your little waterproof, dustproof gasket. So that needs to be pushed in, which it isn't. So just make sure that is seated in place. Oh, there you go. It's just that one corner. Does this have the tabs that this one has? I can't even see where them tabs are supposed to be. Oh, right, on this side. Yes, it does. So these need to come out. But I don't know how you would get these out. I've got an idea. I've got a sole nine just here, and I could melt them off. 
Oh, I'm just trying to make it easy for you guys because you may not have a sword and iron. I'm hoping I can just melt this bit of plastic and pull it out like so. Okay, some pins actually hold this in place also, which I did not know. So I've got a bit of muck here, something's obviously spilt so I'm gonna get some alcohol and a cube tip and get rid of that. Couldn't find a q tip so this will do. This is this alcohol. Not the drinking kind, the cleaning kind. This stuff here. That'll do. So we have the front part of the the key fob, put this black plastic bit in place, like so, and this will just sit on top like that. Technically that will do, but for myself, just because I've got a sword nine, I'm just going to melt the tips over, like so. And that way it is stuck inside. OEM, oh, yeah. I guess you could say. So that is it guys. That is basically it. The hardest part is getting these little broken tabs out now. When you take yours to bits, yours should still be inside like this. So you may have to just get a small knife or a little blade or maybe a tiny drill bit and just hand thread it because it's only a tiny bit of like black plastic basically. It's not tough. A uh, normal drill bit will easily get through that. You just need to take the top off. Once the, the mushroom tops off, it'll pull out. Transplant it across to your new one, like this. And you don't have to melt it back down if you don't want to. You could get a lighter and a bit of metal and heat the metal up and just dab the tops. You're basically just taking a point and squishing it so it just folds over just to stop this thing from coming out. Maybe it's just sort of from rattling. I'm not too sure what the purpose is. Normally, it's just a case of taking the second bot out and putting in the new one, but it's strange that they've done that. So just put the bottom in and then the top, and that should be it. This slides in there, and then you take your, your trim, whatever you want to call it. Just make sure that lines up back and front, and then slide down. And that's it, that's really tight, which is good because it kept falling off this one. So, my god, look at that. I think you guys will agree that is a good upgrade. So we went from that to that. Like I said, I'm not bothered about this being scratched because after a few weeks it's been in my pocket and in my bag, that will get scratched again. But yeah, it looks quite nice. The buttons are starting to fade as well, which I never even realised. So, yeah, happy with that, guys. It's uh, not really much holding on, is there? <laughs> oh, the buttons come away as well, so, oh, God. Someone's actually glued this. I wonder if that's what was on the board. That's actually glue. Yeah, there was not much holding that on. <laughs> so, that is it. Quick test. I can hear that in the background. Car, unlock, lock. This is the spare key. Now the spare key isn't much better. In fact, the spare key is way worse. I did not realize it was that bad actually. That is terrible. But the spare key does nothing because this has been set in a drawer for five years or so and never been used. In fact, the spare key actually still has this attached. So. Hmm, the key is back in my keys, so let's just use another key. And once again, see that's actually broke as well, so it must be quite common 
for them to feel like this. This is my spare key, but if you're in a pickle, you need to use your spare key, and there's no battery, you have a bad day. So let's just put a battery in. that back on and yep it's a lock and no, lock and that's working again i'll go and buy another case and i think i'll change this one over also because it's a spare case i wasn't that bothered but this is bad <laughs> that is terrible how how does this happen this this is i've never even used this key when i got the card it's put in the drawer and it wasn't this bad when i put in the drawer it's kind of melted can you see it's like all done. So I can go back in the drawer, let's go back in my pocket, and we'll call that it, guys. So thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you've learned something new. And like always, please like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.